everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm gonna do a very easy style I guess kind of a rose looking flower it's not necessarily uh, any flower in particular but that would be the closest thing I would say that it would be I am going to be using a number 12 a magic round brush and a number 12 a magic flat brush and just a few colors of paint using Folk Art Baby Pink, Bright Pink, Aqua, and Wicker White. It's going to be a very colorful design, actually. All right. These are all folk art paints, a mixture of enamels and multi-surface. So I'm going to begin with the, the round brush. And I'm just going to stick it into the bright pink. And this design is going to be one where it's just going to have the flowers and then some leaves around them. So when I'm doing this, I'm just touching. Just I don't want it to be like a circle. I want it to be kind of a wavy edges. I don't know why I always do this, but try to space them out a little bit. They don't have to be spaced out evenly, but Then I'm just dipping into the baby pink. I'm gonna come around and just, just do some swirly motion with it. Because I, again, I don't want it to be a perfect circle. I just want it to have some wave on the edges. And if you want, you can give this some time to dry. And then go over it again if you want. That would be up to you. But I would just still just kind of do some swirlies, just some light touching here. And then come in with your white and again just doing just some little swirls and just think about it if you, the more paint you put on it the more durable your design is going to be so keep that in mind and I also case you're new, you know, the intent of my channel is to provide very simple designs that anybody can create. So that's why they're easy. That's by design meant to be done on purpose. Then I'm going to come back in and swirl in some of the bright pink again. And again, you can do it where you're just kind of rotating the strokes if you want. And by that I mean like this going like this and then coming around. You know, if you want to make like a certain pattern with it or you can just loosely place them in wherever you feel the need. You can keep doing this until you achieve the look that you want. Just keep messing with it until you've got the coverage where you need it to be. And come back over with some pink. Just kind of throw that in. And this is the baby pink. 
And if you wanted, you could even add a little bit of the metallic, maybe like a silver or gold. Just have another color that stands out a little bit more. But what I'm trying to do at this point is just get some good coverage, get my strokes in there, and create the design. It's just a very loose. Very loose floral. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do is take my flat brush, put one side into the wicker white, one on side into the aqua. All right, so I've done the blending strokes and I'm ready to go. I'm just going to do a couple different styles. I'm just gonna come in here and do the wiggle down. It's kind of up. There you go. And put a stem through it. Do another one over here. Now I can do them like where I'm going down. Like that. Or I can do them like where you do more of this kind of a shape. And it's going to come up and down and around. So I'm basically I'm combining two different styles. I just pulled some pink in. And if you don't like that, you can touch over it if you want. Let me just do this leaf again. I didn't really want pink in there. All right, and then I'm just gonna look at this one, the next one, and say, okay, where I want the next leaf to go. Just gonna do like that. Pull down through the center. There's not as much room. Let me do this. If you get too much paint on your brush, just wipe it off. I would not rinse it off because then that might, especially on gloss, that might lessen the durability, oops, durability of the paint if you got the water in there. And of course the way I'm doing this, I could come off here and just do a little leaf that hangs down the side. Now I could fill one in here if I wanted to. That's why I say you just have, kind of have to take a step back and say, huh, where else do I need to have a leaf? But I'm just going to do them around here. And I'm trying to keep them from overlapping because you can definitely, you know, layer them if you want. But I'm trying to keep them separate as much as possible. I'm getting, I need to get some more leaves in here. And I don't have, you don't have to do the, the equal amount either. Some of them can have more than the other. And again, you can adjust this design based on, you know, however you want it to look. It doesn't have to be like mine. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, you know, I could put another leaf up there, which I probably will do. That's why I say take a step back, look at it and see where you need to add into it. I'm not going to do 
any other type of leaf with this design. I'm just going to stick with this and call it a day. And if you want, you could add in some dots. I'm just going to keep it light and easy. Very simple. And there you have it. Anybody can do my designs. Very, very simple. I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. And before you leave, if you would share this video on your social network with your family and friends, it's really easy. Just hit the share button underneath the video and it'll give you the options of where to share it and you'll be good to go. All right, until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one. Bye.